welcome back to my channel so today i wanted to do a collective haul for you guys because i never do hauls on my channel i haven't done a haul in a long time and i've been collecting a lot of things so i thought that it would be nice to share with you guys what i have so i'm gonna go ahead and get started this is super random all the stuff in this video don't go together but I think that you guys could still use some of the tips from this video and I actually like random hauls like you never know what's gonna pop up so I first want to start with my perfume collection because my perfume collection I have been trying to up my game here lately first perfume that I have is from good chemistry um, this is a natural brand so it's more of a natural perfume you guys already know that most of the products that I use I try to keep as natural as possible. So this one is the Jasmine Rose with, um, is it what type of essential oil? Oh, it doesn't say, it says, it just says with essential oils. But what type of essential oil? Okay, they don't tell you. I guess that's just part of the, you know, chemistry. They don't want you to know exactly what essential oils they're using. But this smells really good. I found that it was super light to be called like a perfume. But some perfumes are light. And I'm more of a person who does like light perfumes over heavy plus perfumes. So this was one of my favorites. And I did get it from Target. I was surprised to find such a good, you know, perfume in Target. I also got this good chemistry body spray which to be honest the body spray is actually a lot more fragrant than the actual perfume so it smells a little stronger um so this is what it looks like it smells so good it's great for autumn this is more for um springtime and i also like the packaging like i love this this packaging of this one so yeah good chemistry so remember in my hygiene haul i told you guys that i try to find like really good deodorants and i found that nativi native i don't know if i'm saying that right but i found that that deodorant was the best um the thing is with this deodorant you do have to get a certain scent because i've tried other scents that were like lighter scents and they don't they don't smell as good and they don't stay on as long so my favorite is definitely the eucalyptus and mint one and then they have a even more fragrant one which is called like the cedar i think it's called cedar wood and that one's a very very strong it's more for like a guy but i still like that one because it stays on all day but when you start to get into like the more fruitier lighter scents like i tried the charcoal one and i didn't like that one it starts not to last as long so this brand is really good um, as far as natural deodorants, if you're trying to live like a more natural lifestyle, just make sure that you get one that is more fragrant and has a heavier scent. So one like when you open it up and you're like, oh my God, that's too strong. No, get that one. <laughs> Don't. All right, so we're done with pretty much the like smell goods of the haul part. I'm going to move on now to the bags that I have. Now this first bag is from Teddy Blake. I really, really love this bag because it's good for fall time. I normally get like beige purses, brown purses, black purses. I don't like to get color, but I think that this will be a really good purse just to have for the fall season. So I'll probably just use this for that time of the year. It was a little smaller than what I was thinking it would be, but it turned out to be something that definitely I'm gonna be wearing. Put the name here because I don't wanna butcher it, but this is the name of the bag. And um, also have everything thing listed down in the description box with links and all of that. It also comes with this adjustable strap here where you can actually put it onto the purse and wear it. So I really like that about it because sometimes I don't want to just carry the purse like this. I want to actually carry it, you know, as a strap purse. I also love the fact that this is a really luxury type of leather. It doesn't have like the hefty price tag so you will see that the price tag is not as expensive as like more expensive bags would be. They also sent me this really pretty um, silk scarf which you are actually going to tie onto the purse the way that you want it to be tied onto it. I'll actually fix it later but you get the point you put the bow on there and then. also wanted to mention that they do give you a duster bag to go with your purse so you don't have to like you know worry about it getting messed up be such a small bag it does have a lot of space inside of it it has like a cell phone case space in here it has four you can put like any type of 
any type of accessories that you want to put two pockets are inside so this next bag was actually gifted to me from my from my boyfriend um not really gifted because this was like something that he was not using and so he gave it to me but i guess that is kind of like a repurposed gift <laughs> it's a ysl bag so what this is for is your laptop it's not an actual purse um what i am going to use it for is like when i go on traveling trips or anything like that i'm going to put my camera equipment in there because what happened last time is i was traveling and i had my camera equipment in the bag with my other things i don't know why i decided to do that but i ended up breaking one of a really expensive part of my camera equipment and i don't want that to happen again so i'm definitely looking forward to using this as like my camera bag and um i have an actual camera bag but this is a more bigger one see how huge it is where it can fit like my laptop my actual camera bag in here, and my SD cards and all that stuff in here. Definitely going to be using this. All right, so these next items are going to be like super random. So this one right here are the shoes that I got. Um, I actually had these for a long time. I've had, I've had these for a long time, a couple of months now. Love them so much. My boyfriend actually got these for me. And these are the Air Max 270. I used to be so much into shoes, but now that I'm older, I just get whatever I like. I used to get like Jordans and like all that stuff. And now I'm just like, I don't care. But my boyfriend got these for me and I really love them. They're like super, super cute. As you guys can see here. So if you have not noticed, I like, well, you guys probably haven't noticed because I never show my shoes, but I like tennis shoes that are girly, that have like girly colors on them. Um, so most of the time my tennis shoes are going to be more like girly. Um, I didn't used to be like that, but as I got older, I liked more like feminine tennis shoes. So let me know if you guys like these. I love the colors. It's like gold and a nice, um, rose color. And then the actual shoe is like kind of like this really cute material. So this was definitely one of my favorites. And I'm definitely going to get some more shoes that look similar to this. And the color on the actual shoe is not a white. It's more of a cream color. So now I'm going to go ahead and get into the hair care that I have been um, collecting. I definitely don't have all my hair care items in this video because it would just make this video super, super long. So I just picked out the stuff that I've been using recently, like my favorites for this month. I'm going to start with the product that I bought from Raw. So this is from Shea Moisture. But it's a Frizz Defense Shampoo, and I really like it. At first, I thought I wasn't going to like it because look how watery it is. I was like, is that even still good when I was looking at it in the store? But then when I actually bought it, I was like, oh, that that's like, this is bomb. As I already know, Shea Moisture has really good products. I also have their Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Conditioner, um, which this is an OD, but it's still like a goodie. I love this conditioner and I love their older lines more than I like the newer ones. I find that their older lines work a lot of, a lot better. So I still definitely use Shea Moisture's older lines over their newer lines. Also, normally, um, you guys already know, as a YouTuber, I get sent a lot of products. So I don't have to, and I actually make my own products as well. So I don't have to go out and buy products often. But when I seen this in Ross, I was like, hmm, like it just looked like something interesting. So I wanted to try it because it was so watery and I just wanted to see like if it works still. And it's definitely a really good shampoo. Also got this here, which is the Innate Life um, scalp treatment here. Um, I definitely have had this for a while, but I have not gotten a chance to get around to making a video with these products. So this is a pretty good product. Like she uses all natural ingredients in here. All everything in this product is all organic. And I just respect the fact that her products are so pure. Um, so I like this to use if I'm using it for a pre-poo. For an actual treatment, I felt that I don't know, it just wasn't my, it, it kind of feels like a grease and it's just not what I'm used to for an actual treatment. But I do put like it on as a pre-poo and then I'll leave it on for like 20 minutes and then I'll go in with my deep conditioner on top of this actual scalp treatment 
and then I'll wash it all out. So next I have here is this um, microfiber towel. And I have been using these type of microfiber towels for a while. This is from the brand Aquas. I don't know if I'm saying these things right, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so the towel that I have been having for years is the one that kind of like you put on and it wraps around and then it has like a button in the front. Well, this one that they sent, that I was sent, this actually is like an actual towel. So let me know down below which one you guys like because I like the ones that you have to like wrap around and then put a button. It's like a button in the front. But this is actually very handy as well because sometimes your entire back is like wet when you're trying to like do your hair and this will be good to just be like you know wrap it around like that so your hair is not getting dried out because you know a regular towel actually dries out your hair also doesn't damage your hair because it's actually a really good fabric it's not like you know the rough towel that you use on your actual body that can rip out your hair so the last thing for hair is this lily silk sent me this and this is their bonnet I absolutely love it it's a silk bonnet but it's a little different because you guys see here it has like these little drawstrings this can go as loose or as tight as you want that's the good thing about this so you put it on your head it doesn't stretch out because you're gonna put it on your head and then tie it in the back so that it can be as loose or as tight as you want it to be. So a lot of times with bonnets at night, we all know they come off your hair, they slip off your hair. So this, having a tie at the back and actually being able to put it as loose or as tight as you want it to, is like amazing. And it also has this stretchy thing here. So if your hair or your head is a little bigger, then it will stretch out to kind of fit your head. So I actually like the, quality of this and actually love the design of this so i definitely wanted to put this in the video also love the fact that this is 100 percent um real silk so so the last things that i wanted to show were to do more with skincare so you guys have noticed that i use huna skin a lot i mentioned her products a lot in my videos because she does have really good products her products are like a1 so this is the huna clarify cleansing powder with coconut banana and um i definitely love this because it leaves your skin feeling amazing and when you're putting it on your face it just feels like like what is this like this feels so awkward because it's not like an actual cream it's a powder and you have to mix it with water and it's kind of like a diy but then when you wash off your face you will see why it's such amazing why it's such an amazing product so this was sent to me and I mentioned it a lot, but I wanted to mention it again. Like I just want to give her a lot of shout outs because her products are like definitely amazing. I also have her Age Grace Face Serum, which works great as well. It's a little bit more of a heavy oil, but I think that's really good because you don't have to use a lot of it. So I got this jade roller and I actually got this from Ross. I kept seeing these in people's videos and I'm like, oh, that's probably super expensive. But I didn't pay that much for this. Now I will say that um, the quality of it is not like the best. It's already starting to turn tarnish like the gold on here um, because I haven't even used it or used water or anything on it. It's just been kind of sitting and it just from it sitting, it's been like turn the goat has been turning on it. But as far as the actual jade roller, I actually like it. It's pretty heavy. It does feel like real crystal. Um, I have seen that some people are saying that their jade roller doesn't is not like the real thing. But this does feel like the real thing. I just don't like the fact that the gold is starting to turn already because I feel like that that could have been done a little better. Now this is actually for your actual face and then this smaller part is supposed to be for your the under eyes, so. So this right here is from Origins and this is their cleansing oil, radiant boosting white and purple rice. Um, so I really like this product. I used it a couple of times in my skincare routine and it just works really good to cleanse your face. It's actually, like I said, a cleansing oil. And at first I thought, oh my God, I'm not gonna put oil on my face. But when I put this on my face, my skin actually loved it. So if you guys are in the, in the market for a um, face cleanser, definitely recommend this Origins face cleanser because like I said, it works really good. And also if you're not into the Huna skin, which you're gonna have to like, and kind of like put water in and make up yourself, between the two, if you're wanting to choose, I would choose the Huna skin 
But if you're wanting something that's more convenient, then definitely go with the Origins cleansing oil because it's more convenient. You can find it like in Sephora or in more stores. Okay, so the last thing I got was this right here. And this is from Shein, as you guys can see here. Um, so definitely this is more of a summer hat. I thought that I would be able to wear it all year round, like in fall as well. But the thing about this is it has like she seashells on it and like, I didn't even notice this was on it in the actual picture when I bought it offline. So this is definitely a summer hat. So I'm probably gonna be wearing this next year on vacation if I go on like to the beach. But <laughs> I don't know, it's like, it's super bougie. Like I'm just like, like look at that, like. <sighs> Like chilling in the sun, I don't know. It's super boot. It's like way, way above what I normally would do. I'm like more of a simple person, so it's very oversized. So if you like oversized hats, then you probably would love this. I would probably go for a smaller hat, but this is definitely for the summertime. For fall time, I'm gonna get a smaller hat that is like similar. Um, but definitely gonna get a smaller one because like I said, this is like way over the top, like way over the top, like. <laughs> okay guys, so that was my collective haul. Hopefully you guys loved this video. Um, I had a lot of fun filming it for you guys. And like I said, I'll try to link every single thing that I had in this video down in the description box. So make sure that you check down in the description box for all the items. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.